Hey, what is up guys? Gus and Corral here back with another video and today I'm going to be starting a brand new series uh, laying off Star Wars Bounty Hunter for Resident Evil. So let's get on get that on. Uh, the reason why I'm laying off Star Wars Bounty Hunter is because I'm, I started to get b tired of it. Didn't really want to continue it on but don't worry. Come next May, that's when I'll start or start playing it again and giving back more content of that back to you and finishing off that too so yeah I don't want to leave anything undone uh, Resident Evil I have played a little bit of this however it is a little sloppy uh, and I did st I did also did start Jill and Chris's campaign but Jill, I barely did anything, just found a typewriter and or save station. Hmm. But for Chris, I dug a little deeper, but just still in the mansion. So, yeah. Anyways, I think for this particular gameplay, I'm going to be going with Chris's campaign. So, yeah, let's start a brand new campaign. Whew. This Resident Evil uh, narration is still giving me goosebumps, fam. Uh, display, I want to keep it wide. Don't don't like the below black spaces in the side of my screen. Controls, I like it in a different way. And keep the subtitles on, yes siree. How do I like my games? Mm. Like climbing a mountain? Nah, not that experienced. Uh, like taking a walk yeah I kinda like I just wanna have a chill uh, gameplay uh, here you can select either Chris or Jill there's two variations uh, the original Chris from the uh, original Resident Evil and then the Chris that's or the modern Chris Redfield same goes with Jill but this time I'm gonna go with the original Chris because I don't think there's actually that much variations between these the two Chris's so yeah let's go with this one. Oh yeah by the way for the practice file that I'm doing I'm using the modern Chris uh, I don't think there's as I said I don't think there's that much difference just the uh, aesthetics uh, six successful Alpha team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Oh, so this is the first time I saw this. I'm seeing this uh, cutscene. Ooh, reports the pixels. Of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. Um, the Bravo team was sent well, in to I'm liking this, man. But we lost contact. Look, Chris. Oh. I just. Bravo team's helicopter Wait. was a derelict. Is that? A oh, I thought that was a train. No, this is the this is their Bravo team's helicopter. Hmm. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. Ooh, Kevin. What the fuck? Oh shit! Her eyes were gouged out. Damn. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. Oh shit! Oh, the, this lovely scene. There's Wesker, Joseph. Oh, there's Jill, homegirl Jill. Oh, there's homeboy with the bandanas. Heard some doges. And holy shit, I would've been, I would've been out of there, man. Probably would've died on the process. Like that quick out of the helicopter, man. Oh shit! Oh, the dog, do the doges are really fast. Oh. 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 
by the time that he got snatched by that doge, I don't think there's any any way of saving him. Also, it's weird to see zombie dogs. Well, to me. Come on. Oh, Chris is clutch. Wait, are those great things? What kind of dogs are those, man? I'm wondering. Hey, Brad! Where the hell's he Brad, what are you doing? Oh, Chris? Ooh. This way. Oh, Wesker. Oh, is, was that Barry? Oh. I kind of like Barry. Who the man? Oh, that mansion. Mm. Oh, gotta eat more yogurt. Uploading up the game. Oh, yes. Enter the survival horror. Sets the tone for this game, lads. There are only three stars members left now. Captain Wesker. Jill and myself. We don't know where Barry is. <sighs> well, that's sad. Is everyone all right? Barry. Where's Barry? He's... No. What was that? Hmm. I'll go and check it out. All right. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. Chris? Yes? Take care. Yeah. Huh. Don't worry. I got this. I basically know this area. Uh, first, let's take this. The ink ribbons. I... Wait. Yep, I have six... So, better use that wisely. And just type right off the bat. This is where I can save, but don't want to save now. Because I'll be a waste of the increment, lads. Um, over here is, I think, where you should go. Oh, yes. Yes. Totally is. And, um, no, not there. Right here. The infamous scene, lads. Look at this. It's probably one of the most famous scenes in gaming, man. I'm telling you. Even I know it. And this is my first, very first Resident Evil game. Oof. Hold on. Just... Oh wait, there you go. Oh, my controller level is low again? I thought I just switched it. Oh, and I get trapped. Didn't want that. All right, come on, lad. Get up, get up. Nope, nope. Where, oh, I just went to his arms, man. Get out. All right, one more. Jesus. This man is persistent, and I got trapped again. Oh boy! Wait! Oh god! The camera angles. All right, I'll just wait here. Come on! Get out! Wait! Ah! Oh. Okay. Are you done? Oh no! No, you're not. Wait! Did? Get out! Get out! Are you done? Oh yes, but I oh I'm severely hurt. Wow, already in the red. It's the first, first time I've been in the red in this game. But yeah, doubt I haven't been that. Well, I think I don't even think I'm out at the beginning yet. Hmm. So I have to be cautious from now on. Yeah. All right, got to tell Wesker. Wesker, the homeboy. 
Wesker? Jill? Oh no. They're gone. Where did they go? Hmm. Well, what sucks is that we're on our own. But A, hey, we got that Glock or whatever that gun is. What do they call it in this game? We'll take the handgun. I know they call it something else. Uh, let's examine it. Uh, it's stars issued. We got the engravings up there. RPD special team. Uh, let's check it out. Stars custom automatic and it fires 9mm problem rounds. Oh. I thought they told the name of the gun. Okay. Never mind. Well, I'm not gonna use that gun yet. Also, I need to find some health. So. It's probably smart for me to get some. Or just save right now. Because I might die and lose all the progress. And I don't want to go through the intro again. Hello, I the content. Here's my practice file for Chris. Jill, uh, not really working on that one. So, number three is where I, I'll put my actual gameplay file there. Save is successful, yes. And I also have my gaming uh, account uh, connected to my game cap Capcom account. So um, I forgot where to go. <clears throat> oh wait, wait, do I? Hold on. I believe I have to go across here and enter this door I think that's what you're supposed to do if I if I can think correctly um, yeah I'm pretty sure yeah but there's something shining in that pot don't know how to get that uh, portrait hangs on the wall it almost seems like it's watching you. Hmm. That sets the tone of this game. Nice camera angles. Classic Resident Evil. And... Ooh. I got a dagger. Oh, yes, sir. I'll take it. Emergency evade. Using defensive items such as daggers will allow you to escape momentarily when grabbed by an enemy. However, you will not be able to escape when the enemy grabs you from behind. Wait. Oh. To equip a defensive weapon, go to the status screen and then select the item from the defensive item menu. Then select the equip command. If your defensive item mode is set to manual in the control settings, you must press L2 to use the defensive item. Alright. I don't have it. Wait, do I have it? On automatic or manual? I think it's... Wait. Wait, hold on. Yeah, I think it's automatic right now. So let's go over here. Oh. Got a surprise attack from the zombies. Where? I still don't know where this man has come from, but. Uh, come over here. Nope. Get out. Ah, dang. There you go. Wait. He's not dead yet. Nope. Man, get out. I gotta get out. And pro I probably will use my gun, even though it's too early. Probably just use it. Just to be safe. You know. Um. Headshot? Nah, just right at the heart. Uh, I'll poke him with my knife. See if he's still alive. Yeah, he's done. Oh, he's bleeding. Can I check his corpse? No? Okay. So, I think that's all that's here in this room. Well, for right now. Yeah. Just various art supplies. Hmm. And... 
We still don't know how to get this. Let's check this out. Woman drawing water. Hmm. All right. Let's get out of there. And hmm. I'm liking this, even though I, even though I played this a little bit. I'm loving replaying it. All right. Um. Hmm. hmm. I remember I must I think I must grab a certain something over here in the kitchen or the dining room oh yes I believe that it is this particular item a shield. We'll take the emblem. Oh yes, or it's called an emblem. From the status screen, select an item and then select the exam command. The details of the item will be displayed. All right. Thanks again. Mm. I believe this. Uh, uh. I believe this door can take me somewhere. Yes. It can take me somewhere indeed. Well, looks spooky at first, however. There's nothing here right now. And there is a herb. Two herbs to be exact. Really generous, but it's because I'm playing on easy. Maybe just be there'll just be one in normal mode. And yes, I'll take the green herb. I'll take both of them, in, in fact. Uh, take this. Just go back to yellow. And I've been in my practice file. I've been on yellow for the longest time, and I've been surviving for that. Uh, through here. Huh. What's over there? Ooh. He got three. Yeah, three green herbs. Uh, I what I presume to be a redhead, and also Zambi over here, but I'm not going there right now. Uh, actually, I don't want to go through that hallway. I just want to go where the Zambi is coming from. Mm, where is it? Where is it at? Where is it? Oh, oh, come on! What's up, blood? Fuck off! Uh. I'm sorry, but come on, take one, take one for the team. And wow, that was that was pretty damn easy. Pretty pussy, uh, lacker on if you talk to me. That didn't come out right. I'm s bad English. All right, ooh, and uh, yes, I have enough room. Take the golden arrow. And there's a magazine over there too. Uh, but first. Let's take off the, or not use it, examine it, examine it, point to the top, check it out. The arrowhead looks like it can be removed, and uh, the golden rod is gone, just the arrowhead now. And the arrowhead is made from peridot, sometimes referred to as poor man's emerald. Ooh yes, give me that factoid game. And might as well use the green herb. Just free up that and give me that ammo, boy. That will you take the handgun ammo magazine? Yes, sir. Oh wait, no, I'm going the wrong way. And if I g if we go this way, I have unlocked the door, and it leads me to the top of the dining room. Bad timing, but yeah. Also, there's a there's a Zambul over there on the other side. I think it's where is it? Where's that lad? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Hold on. Actually, no. I'll I'll defeat this man head on and get the dagger later. Oh, I don't know. He he got me from behind. 
Ah. Uh, one down, stab at him. Big give him a little poke. Oh. Guess he only took two pokes also. Also there's a blue gem up there, but I'm not gonna take that yet. Uh I don't think that'll be used until later. Cause I have it in my practice file and still haven't used it. We'll take the dagger. Yes, sir. Mm. Yeah, I do have it equipped. Uh, where can I find the emblem key? Wait, actually, I think. Let me just go outside. Oh, uh, hmm. I believe there's a door that opens up to the emblem, but I don't know where. But I'm just gonna go outside, see what is going on in the backyard. Is that a grave? Oh, I don't know what's what to call this, but man, that's a big graveyard for a mansion like that. Um, ooh, different views. A tomb engraved with a picture of an angel. Here's an indentation in the shape of an arrowhead. Oh wait, didn't mind, mean to read that again. That area, oh, is meant for the arrowhead. Okay, so use that. Boop. And the tomb opens. Let's go in there. See what is going on over here. Here's some mechanical stuff back there. And I, s I don't know what that coffin is doing up there. I don't even know what's in it, but I know it's I know it's an unkillable kill thing. I think there's our it's something else. But anyways, let's go up here. A book is fitted perfectly in the indentation. Will you take the book of curses? Yes, ma'am. I'll take that. And there's a there's a set of masks, or what should I call them? Well, uh, uh, statues with holes without them. Wait, wait. And I know. Let me check. I should have used the book to explain my point better. So let's do it out. If you look in front, there's nothing. Just next world. However, in the back, there is a key. So check that out. There's a key embedded on the back cover. Will we remove it? Yes, please. You got the mansion key. Book of curses. And once you remove the key, the book opens. The four masks. A mask that speaks no evil. A mask that smells no evil. Evil. A mask that sees no evil. A mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. Oof. That is some heavy foreshadowing. And I do not want to meet that evil being just yet. But... Anyways, let me just head over to the typewriter. I know nothing much has really been done. But this is just the intro, man. Pretty sure there's more than the mansion. Maybe some type of... Probably some type of lab. You know, like any Resident Evil. There's gotta be a lab somewhere. Alright, get out of the backyard. Or quote-unquote backyard. And head towards that... Type right in the dining room, and I think that'll be it. So, oh, camera. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Uh, let me say real quick, and while I'm doing that, thank you all. F let me say that I'm gonna thank you all for watching, and if you want to see more, you should subscribe, man. And if you like this video, you can leave a like. 
and don't worry it's not gonna be like Star Wars Bounty Hunter where I'll just stop in the middle and do nothing or wait until a certain period but yeah anyways I'm gonna leave it off here and I'll see you in the next video that you're gonna watch on uh, this channel guys see you later here I am. Rock you like a